Hello everyone, welcome to CISA This Much. This is Aditya and today we have with us a very special person who has recently qualified his CISA exam. So he is basically a technical director at Oracle Singapore. So uh, he is Subha Das. First of all, heartiest congratulations from our side. Okay, so that you have just qualified your CISA exam. So how do you feel? Thanks, Aditya, for inviting me. Uh, definitely, I'm glad and very happy that uh, I've just now cleared my CISA exam. And I want to say a lot of thanks to your efforts uh, and the preparation that you uh, guide me and help me during this course. We'll discuss in detail, but definitely it's a wonderful experience and uh, thanks for inviting me. Yeah. So the first question which I want to ask you is that, so you are already a director at Oracle. You are so qualified. You are well qualified. You have so many years of experience. You are in a very good position. So what is that one thing which made you do CISA? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, thanks. Uh, uh, what I uh, will say that uh, if you do a Google search today, uh, whether whatever field you are in, whether it's finance, audit or any uh, costing or transfer pricing or anything, you will find that uh, uh, today, a lot of uh, after the corona, a lot of uh, economy is digitized. So people are doing uh, transactions through uh, internet and through e banking or through fintech. Uh, fintech has grown up like anything, it's uh, shifting the total banking uh, uh, the way we do banking. So we feel that a lot of uh, fraud, crime, and uh, digitalization will uh, definitely create problems in our life. So our system will become our day and day part, even if you don't like or somebody is not so much uh, system uh, oriented. And uh, definitely what CISA will help you is that you will understand the concepts uh, which is more important related with the systems. And definitely this will help us in our career. Uh, eventually, if you do not become a, a system auditor, but even if you are doing integrated with system, it will help you to uh, learn and uh, to do things uh, more proficiently and efficiently. So this will uh, give us a big boost, uh, I think, in the next decade. That's what uh, my thoughts. Yeah. yeah. So I, even I agree with your points. Okay. So uh, the next question which I want to ask you is that how has Aditya's This Much Learning Solution have helped you clear the CISA exam? Uh, good. Uh, since uh, definitely it has helped me and uh, since I have passed the exam because of this much uh, course and uh, definitely your uh, personalized touch, uh, I feel that what I liked about uh, your course is about how you have explained the concepts uh, because it's uh, very important, uh, especially for uh, uh, people who are not so technical uh, who are related to the finance it is very important to understand those uh, concepts and because of those concepts i think uh, we can pass the exam it's uh, that's what uh, your course has helped me that's what uh, that's what i can feel and also okay thanks a lot okay and the next question is that you know i get uh, frequently asked by a lot of people that you know what's the time duration required According to you, like you know, I, I'm uh, I want to take your opinion in that. What's the time duration required to clear this exam along with your job, like along with a full time job? Yeah, uh, I will say uh, three months time period. If somebody uh, can think of, uh, definitely it's a good time uh, uh, to pass the exam. Three months. Why I'll say it is uh, because we are a working professional and we cannot concentrate on a regular basis day to day but uh, if something like we spend one and a half months to study the concepts uh, going through your course uh, something like two hours daily and uh, in the weekends a bit um, a stretch a bit as uh, we have our day to day personal life uh, we can balance it out and stretch a bit in the weekends so one and a half months uh, it's a good time to finish off the conceptual courses and then focus one and a half months uh, on the uh, mock test and unit test preparation because uh, it's very difficult uh, exam so better to have that same kind of feeling before you go to the exams so your course what has helped me uh, since uh, offline while traveling you can go through your courses it's not that something i have to dedicatedly spend time so i have done a lot of while traveling i have seen your courses and that has helped me uh, to 
understand and also utilize the time more properly. So I'll suggest that uh, definitely uh, if somebody has a three months objective uh, period, you can definitely clear the exam. Okay, so the next question which I would like to ask you is that, so again, uh, now I would like to, you know, slightly deviate our topic a bit, but again, this is also a frequently asked question to me that uh, initially, you know, I was having the plans to uh, put a uh, typed notes, but, you know, we are having handwritten notes, you know, whether it is discussion notes or whether it is, you know, uh, the master charts, whatever, we are having hand handwritten notes. And um, now I'm getting a feedback from a lot of people is that, you know, they are finding handwritten notes much better than, you know, those bulky notes, those bulky type notes. So what's your opinion on this thing? Yeah. So definitely, uh, I feel sometimes handwritten notes are little uh, looks different from the regular uh, way we read the books. But uh, what I feel is that handwritten note uh, gives us is a little bit of personalized touch. Since we are um, miles away and uh, we are studying it and you, whatever you are teaching us, uh, because of the handwritten notes, we feel that it's more personalized. And then uh, the other thing that you have mentioned, uh, reading that big books, uh, which are the bulky books, and then revising it at the time of revision, again, uh, noting it down, it becomes really difficult. So handwritten crisp notes are really helpful uh, because this will cut down our study time. And uh, also uh, we can uh, write it down uh, Behind, beside your handwritten notes, important points that you have not understood or underlined. So definitely, it's uh, really helpful, and I feel it's one of the best thing uh, because of your handwritten uh, thoughts. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next question is again, you know, a few people, you know, uh, focus on this thing also. That is conceptual learning important, or can they mug up? Can they, you know, because I get uh, messages like, you know, we only have one week of time. So can we just kind of mug up some questions and just can we just go and appear for the exam or is it that, you know, the conceptual learning important? And secondly, uh, how concepts will help you, you know, uh, in, to crack the interviews and even in the practical world. So is conceptual learning important or can we just, you know, blindly mug up things and just uh, pass the exam just, you know, or and afterwards, will it be easier for us to crack the interviews or whatever, you know? So what's your opinion on this thing? Yeah, so uh, definitely conceptual learning is very important because uh, I felt most of the Isaka questions, even if it's similar to the question bank or the mock test or unit test, it's uh, quite a twist one because uh, they have a emphasize on very single words like best or what is the least, greatest, some most. So eventually they will tweak it and you will find it very difficult to uh, if you mug only and pass the exams and even if you mug for sub, sub, something like a question bank which you have resolved and then you went for the exam and somehow you pass the exam because of that but in your real life uh, without knowing the concepts it's of no help so it's very difficult after you pass the exams you will learn it and that's very uh, unlikely and uh, most likely this exam passing just based on your muscle memory is very difficult. So my advice not to go with that shortcut approach because you most 99% chance you will end up in uh, not clearing the exam. Better to give them understand the concepts and pass the exams. That will definitely help both for clearing and in your uh, practical life uh, when you go for the job interviews and to pursue this profession. Okay, so yeah. Thanks for the uh, detailed answer because it was very important, uh, you know, because a lot of people have this kind of, you know, uh, perception. Anyways, let's move on to the next question. And that is, okay, so now I want to ask one question uh, about our inbuilt feature in our uh, app. So we have a feature of, you know, giving the students a real exam environment user interface. So whenever they appear for the mock test or unit test or whatever test, so, you know, the, uh, you know, I wanted you know, the, the, the students to feel that, you know, as if they are appearing for the real exam. So what, what is your opinion on this thing that, you know, because I get, you know, uh, again, this question, uh, you know, people ask me that, you know, uh, you know, how will they face the real exam? Because, you know, they have done everything. They have studied the concepts. They have gone through all the Q and A's, everything. But, you know, when it comes to giving the real exam, you always, you're always worried. 
okay no matter how much you are prepared but you will always be worried you know uh, before going to the exam hall so how has our real exam environment you know the, the user interface has helped you uh, to prepare for the exam yeah so uh, i will say that uh, your mock test unit test and also somebody wants to do cisa questionnaires these all these uh, tests will help us uh, to have a feeling of how the real exams are most likely the question standards are same it will be little tweak uh, and twisted as i was told, tell, I told you in the last uh, question uh, and uh, the most other important for everybody is to spend 4 hours to clear all those uh, 140 questions so uh, it's very difficult uh, if you are not mentally prepared so this mock question this uh, will definitely help you to understand the time that is required to resolve this question and if you need to more prepared uh, and if you are going through this process of resolving this mock questions uh, quite religiously i feel when you appear the real exam you will find it more easy because in my case i have uh, solved the question more uh, faster than wh- what i was doing in my practice period so i was able to complete my uh, most questions by 3 3 hours uh, 15 minutes like that and 45 minutes to revise it so i will suggest you go for it without that i will not uh, feel that anybody should go and appear the exams that's that's my thought process and yeah. uh, suggestion correct yeah. yeah agree with your points okay uh, so okay what will be your last message so you know i think uh, it's a time to end our session so what will be your last message to all our future cisa aspirants yeah uh, i will say that uh, since uh, the uh, things are changing and we are becoming more digitalized as i was telling what, what is the main reason of pursuing it so more and more demands will be there and eventually we have to learn something related to the security audit and uh, related to the systems without that uh, our normal jobs will also become difficult so as much as early we pass and understand and become a cisa uh, professional uh, we feel that uh, we can do uh, and, and understand what the new concepts are and we will be more uh, market oriented than uh, what uh if we don't do uh, this course uh, in the longer run so hopefully i think everybody will be having some value addition in their life uh, by doing it yeah. yeah so i hope everyone has uh, you know uh, like everyone has learned a lot from this entire session and thank you once again thanks, for joining sir. us for giving us your time okay so thanks thanks sir thanks yes. for yeah. helping me uh, out i definitely i will watch for your course thanks yeah, thank you thank you Okay so guys let's meet with some other person some other day with some other success stories so subscribe to my channel for more such videos